Hello, everybody. This is uh, Catholic Dad, episode number 145, Rights and Obligations. Um, rights and Obligations. So I was uh, reading a, an encyclical by John the Twenty Third called Pachum and Terris, or Peace on Earth. I believe it was uh, published in um, 1963. Um, well, anyway, he talks about uh, what your rights are as human beings, and your rights are something that's intrinsic to yourself, something that pre-existed, pre-existed the existence of the state. Uh, things that you're free, like freedom of speech, freedom of property, um, you know, property rights, uh, freedom of the press, freedom of religion. And so these things are innate to your own being. And uh, rights uh, tend not to um, uh, place any obligation on other people's in your so- in society. You're allowed to f- speak freely and you don't, you don't need other people to help you to do it. You just do it yourself. Now, along with rights, along with freedoms, along with the, the capacity to exercise certain rights comes uh, obligations or responsibilities or duties. And this is what he talks about in uh, Pachum and Terrace, that we have these uh, wonderful rights that preexisted the existence of the state, and therefore the state has to um, uh, respect these rights. But with that comes obligation, uh, obligations on us. And essentially what the obligations are, that we have to uh, form a, a just moral society, that we have obligations as people towards our fellow man. And I think um, if you think about it, the obligations are really the uh, cardinal works of mercy. Um, uh, so things like, uh, you know, feeding the poor, clothing the hungry, um, yeah, feeding the hungry, um, uh, housing, housing the, um, homeless, you know, uh, visiting the prisoners in jail, burying the dead, um, and so on and so forth. And he even talks about healthcare within, uh, as one of our obligations. We as, uh, developed Western societies, if we have enough wealth, um, that we have an obligation to provide basic health care to the most needy and the most poor and the most underserved. And, um, you know, and that is a Christian obligation. It's not, a, it's not a right that he could claim um, health care, but it certainly is an obligation that we as Christians are obliged, obliged uh, to provide for everybody in our society. And I'll give you an example. You know, let's say homeless guy comes into our ER and he's coughing up blood and he's got a lung mass. He's homeless. Now, if we had no obligation towards him, uh, as a Christian just society, that uh, really all we did was exercise our property rights and our freedom rights and whatever else, and we didn't actually have an obligation to other people. We'd just kick them out the door, right? We'd say, good luck with that. You know, you don't have any money. You're homeless. You're, you're probably mentally ill, and you have a horrible lung cancer, but you know what? That's going to take you anyway. We'll pray for your soul. That's not what a Christian society does. You actually have obligations to others, even those who can't pay, those who are downtrodden, disparaged, and dispossessed by society. You know, the prisoners in jail, you have an obligation to visit them. You know, the dead, you have an obligation to bury them. The homeless, you have an obligation to house them. The hungry, you have an obligation to feed them. Now, they can't claim that as right, but you, through exercising your rights, um, you have to uh, see that there's another side of your rights, and your rights is obligation to your fellow man. And so... Pure freedom, and that's pure freedom, by the way. So, um, you know, you say, I'm completely free. I can do whatever I want. That's not freedom. Um, Complete freedom is you're completely free, and you have the capacity to exercise your individual rights, and you will do what you ought, right? That you will do what is good for your fellow man, for your society, um, for the most uh, uh, ill and dispossessed and downtrodden. That is complete freedom. And when you realize that, when you realize you have these ultimate obligations that you have to uh, uh, partake, on, uh, partake in as a society, uh, then you become truly free because then you do get your rights, your, your capacity to have property rights, freedom rights, but you also have obligation. And when you exercise those obligations in a just way, then society gets uplifted and um, everybody's cared for. And so that's true, true Christian society. It's funny, Solzhenitsyn, you know, he was exiled to Switzerland after, like, the Russians kicked him out from their, uh, from their labor camps. And uh, he said, you know, Switzerland's the most Christian society on the planet, even though they, none of them really ever went to church. But it's because they had, they had a lot of rights. You know, they could uh, do whatever the heck they wanted with regards to so many different things. But their society was set up in a way where they cared for absolutely everybody. And so uh, those are your rights and obligations. And please... Don't uh, take what I'm saying to, uh, to think that I advocate in any way for socialism or communism or heavy-handed, uh, uh, overhanded government or bureaucratic states. I don't at all. I'm, I'm perhaps the most small, mind, uh, small government-minded person you'll ever meet. And so, uh, but I do truly believe we have an obligation to our fellow man. 
in all avenues, including, you know, health care and food and housing and, and all sorts of other things. And so this is Catholic Dad making you think about it. Uh, God bless you all. And please get to church. Uh, live, a, live a sacramental life. Pray the daily rosary. God bless you all.